You guys are gonna love this one. All right. This is a three person, three question video. Bonus. All right. First question, Evan asked, how do you get over fear? Hampus asked, how to avoid injuries? Chris asked, where are the safest places to practice? Straight up, open gyms. They have crash mats, they have foam pits, they have blocks, they have trampolines, beams, bars, depending on how you use them. There are soft landings like dirt, sand, grass, gravel, mulch. You know, playground stuff has usually have soft landings because kids fall all the time. Um, those are probably the safest places to practice, but it's not about the safest places to practice it's about practicing safe you gotta know how to roll you gotta know how to fall you gotta know how to take control of that fight or flight that do or die so if we're falling down some stairs most people will be like oh crap I'm freaking out I'm dying I could break my arm I'm gonna put myself in a more dangerous situation by freaking out because that's not right us tracers free runners and trickers we would probably just fall downstairs boop 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 and we're back up go with it of course, it'll be embarrassing. Oh, shit, I just fell down some stairs. You know, fuck, I'm, everybody's going to be laughing at me. So what? You just fell down some stairs. So what, let, push them down some stairs and watch them get back up like you did. You know? It happens. You know, two years from now, you're going to be like, oh, psh, I was such a retard. I should not have fallen down those stairs. You can't control that. So avoiding injuries, learn how to fall, learn how to roll. Um, those will help you a lot. Tr learn how to train safely. Learn how to stay light on your feet. Don't, uh, when you land. All right, land. Or land like boo. All right, that's so when I jump and stuff like that, or when I leap, or when I land, I land on the balls of my feet. But I don't land hard on the balls of my feet. I blow with it. You gotta bend your knees while you land, so you kind of like woof when you land. Not. Uh. All right. Too many people are stiff. Like people who work out constantly, you know, and they don't stretch when they're done. You know, if you see some videos and stuff like that of a guy who's all bulky in his tricks or whatever. He's, sometimes they're not too fluent. Now, if they are fluent and they're bulky, it means they stretch. They're doing the right thing. They know what they're doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when you, uh, yeah, learn to, learn to roll, learn to fall, learn to take control. Put yourself in a situation where you have to take control of it. Like uh, doing a, a Kong to a shoulder roll. Sometimes that helps a lot of people. Do a dash to a front flip to a shoulder roll. Or do a palm spin to a, to a back shoulder roll, I guess. Um, do a flip and break fall. Practice landing on mats and stuff like that. That helps a lot of people. But you gotta learn to take control of yourself, of yourself in the flight, and that this leads to uh, the getting over fear. Let go of what could happen and take control of what will happen. So I'm not saying just go out there and throw it. There are people who do that. The reason why is because they're probably used to just throwing themselves up. They're probably used to just doing something crazy. You know, some people are like that. Look at Regnex. So, Fire! Let's shoot a stop sign with a shotgun. You know. But you take somebody in the city, they're like, oh, I don't know, the cops might hear this, you know, I'm, like, oh, I'm scared. So different people live different lives, and they're exposed to different things. Depending on how crazy your life was, is, or what you're uh, used to doing, you know, you're not going to get over you're not gonna get over your fear as well. I hear the people who spend most of the time on the uh, little playground thing that you spin around. Uh, it's kind of like a merry-go-round, but you get to control how fast it goes by just pushing the bars constantly like that, and you go faster and faster, and you're like, ugh, ugh. I hear people that, that uh, spend more time on that thing um, as kids have better balance when they get older. I used to love that thing. So some people aren't used to doing fast and strong movements. Some people aren't used to landing off like high jobs. Some people aren't used to doing certain things. So you got to let go of what could happen, take control of what will happen. Now some people are slow learners because they're scared. Some people, it, you got to push people a little bit to surpass their limits. You can't just uh, give up on somebody just because they're too scared. You gotta walk them through it, make them feel good about themselves, confidence, build their self esteem. You've done it so many times in your head, now you just gotta put it in the movement. You know, if you can point your finger like this, wiggle it back and forth, you do that. Somebody tells you to kick with the blade of your foot out, and then pull it back in, and then kick with the heel out, you can do that. It's about controlling your foot, you know, controlling the small details. The best way to get over that is to start from the basics, work your way up, walk yourself through it. Alright, go through it in your head first, walk yourself through slowly on the ground. Another thing, um, movements that go in the air are hard to walk yourself through. You can't walk yourself through a corkscrew. You can walk yourself through the takeoff, and you can walk yourself through the landing. With a twist itself, you can't walk yourself through because that involves being in the air. If you, you want to um, walk yourself through it in your mind, walk yourself through it on the ground, and then try and perform it. Every time you perform it, aim for perfection. 
if your ball's going in the air, you gotta take control of what you're doing in the air. You know, you gotta be ready to land. You gotta know how to land. And that's why, that's where it goes back to avoiding injuries, learn how to fall, learn how to roll. Martial arts, they teach break falls. Judo, they teach break falls. Jiu Jitsu, they teach break falls. Um, Muay Thai, they teach some falls. Um, depending on where you're at. Unless you like to fall, and fall on your ass, I will. So yeah, hopefully that helped. Um, walk yourself through it, step by step. Start from the basics, work your way up. Don't make me tell you again. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. How many times you're going to have to ask questions that have the same answers. Follow through. Good luck. Stay positive, you know. Let go. Be free. Take care.